when the keeper came down in the morning, she came down here first thing just to check in, went into the house, uh, wasn't in the first house, wasn't in the second house, and there was lights coming through at the back of the, uh, the third house. It took three weeks for, for him to, to get him back. Um, um, and I found with another keeper a dead sheep in the field about a mile and a half away. And then uh, the sheep was found, and then four more sheep were found the next day in the same field, so they put a humane trap next to the last kill, and then he was caught about four hours later. In the wild, they would live in very thick forested areas, um, but I think because of that, um, and you very rarely see them in the wild, and they're very, they're very timid animals, um, they're rather more scared of you than we're scared of them. Um, I think they, that's the, why they made that decision not to go out and try and hunt him down and shoot him. We give him a lot of um, enrichment, we keep him fed. Um, he doesn't like being shut in, to be honest with you. Um, lynx don't tend to like being shut in, Willow hates it, so we don't, uh, we don't do it. As long as you manipulate the environment in, in captivity to what they would live in in the wild, uh, it reduces a lot of stress and stereotypical behaviour. My opinion is maybe in certain parts of the UK to reintroduce them back into the wild, to keep some of the deer populations down maybe. It's a nice thought. We were, you know, native to this country, same with brown bear, same with wolves. 